We're going in to the ninth day. So really the question is, are we going to see things continue to intensify here on the ground in Gaza City? We're uh, keeping a lookout. Back to you. So much for a ceasefire. John Huddy, thank you. Three, three Pinocchios for <laughs> President Obama. The Washington Post disputing the president's repeated claim that Republicans constantly block any effort to help the middle class. Here's what he said just this weekend. So far this year, Republicans in Congress have blocked every serious idea to strengthen the middle class. But check this out. Look at that happy family. One day earlier, House Speaker John Boehner and Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi together signing a jobs training bill. Boehner releasing a photo with the headline, this is what working together looks like. And here's what Pelosi had to say. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for bringing us together. Thank you for your leadership. Thanks to Chairman Klein, Chairwoman Fox, uh, con uh, Ranking Member Miller, Ranking Member Hinojosa, John Tierney, Senators uh, Harkin and Patty Murray for getting us to this place where we can all come together in a very bipartisan, overwhelming way to support this jobs training bill. <laughs> Kumbaya, my lord. Remember that from camp? Oh, yeah. Everyone working together to help the middle class. If it weren't so sad, I don't mean to laugh. We need to help the middle class. But come on, everyone taking credit for coming together, but not according to President Obama. Bernard Whitman is a former Bill Clinton pollster, CEO of Whitman Insight Strategies. Mark Larson is a Southern California radio talk show host. All right, you remember Kumbaya? Kumbaya. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, they're a happy family, but the president got, his nose grew over the weekend. He, was a, the, he got three Pinocchios. You know what's so surprising, Gretchen, is that it took the Washington Post this long. I mean, I've been watching Pinocchio Vision for the last almost six years here with the nose crashing through the screen. Um, the question is, who's playing Geppetto? I mean, who's really working on... <laughs> the puppeteering here. Um, however, that is in defense of the president, that was so yesterday. What difference does it make? It was just a couple of days ago oh. that there was an agreement. Because if you deal with today's truth, that's all that matters, you well, know. Well, Bernard, I mean, what are we to make of it? Because, you know, I guess politicians can say whatever they want, and it's up to the Washington Post to figure out whether or not they're telling the truth or not. But they did sign the Farm Bill, bipartisan, the Home Heating Emergency Assistance Through Transportation Act, the Homeowner Flood Insurance Affordability Act, the Water Resources Reform and Development Act. I mean, not on the huge issues, but there has been some commingling. Yeah, yeah, look, here's what's going on. It is political season, so you're going to see hyperbole on both sides. I think the president went way beyond the pale to suggest that the Republicans have shot down every serious idea. I think the bigger issue here is the decline of bipartisanship and the corresponding increase in political negativity that we've seen really go on for the last couple of decades. And I think that it's a failure of leadership on both sides. I think it's a failure on the speaker's part because he so rarely can control his conference, and I, frankly, I think it's a failure on the president's part because he seems to um, not understand some of the basic operating principles of politics. Number one is which you've got to invest in building relationships, personal relationships yeah. that ultimately yield well, political rewards, and, and remember, he hasn't done that. Don't you remember growing up that your mom or your dad always told you to rise above the situation? Well, I mean, which is what so, the president is so, trying to so, do well, in, in, in talking to the people and saying those people are all well, playing politics. Well, not really, though. I mean, no. you saw how much glee there was between no. Boehner and Pelosi that they actually could agree on something. Wouldn't it be great if the president would come out and say, hey, that was a great example. We should do more of that. It's not going to do that because it's, it's away from the paradigm. You want to keep making it seem like there are people who are playing in the political sandbox and he will just uh, take his pen and take his phone, although he doesn't use the phone to call them very much. Um, th this just continues to complicate it. I think when you're dealing with moral relativism and you start the day with today's truth, then the president, I think he truly believes that they've been hammering the middle class when his policies have been jackhammering the middle class in many respects for the last nearly six years. So so are, are Speaker Boehner and Nancy Pelosi, Bernard, being disingenuous then in their happiness about coming together? Because many people watching right now would say, well, they, they haven't figured anything else out on the big, huge issues. No, they're actually genuinely working in the interest of the country. I mean, the fact of uh, the voters disapprove of what's going on, the president's approval rating is 43, Congress is at 15. And the truth is, we are a divided country, we're a divided government, we're going to have a divided government at least till 2016. The only way we can move forward is to move forward together. I think it's unlikely that much is going to happen in the waiting days of this Congress before the next Congress. I am hopeful that somehow we can bring back some spirit of bipartisanship. Let's get Keystone passed, let's get immigration reform done. Ah. Before the election, not going to happen, but I'm looking forward to February. I'll go with you on Keystone, that's good progress. Yeah. I mean, well, and well, that would be, by, that while. would be by, by, bipartisan. Yeah. And maybe in the commercial break, you'll tell me who's going to play Geppetto. Okay. I have some ideas. <laughs> okay. Valerie. Oh, just a thought. All right. Great to see the <laughs> both of you. Thank you.
Well, lots of extreme weather around the country today in the form of heavy rains. Here's a scene in Arlington, Virginia, and a little farther up the coast in New Jersey. Some flash flooding going on. Meteorologist Janice Dean live in the Fox Extreme Weather Center. You know, Janice, some people just coming in. Bernard and Mark say it's pretty bad even right here in New York City right now. Well, let's take a look at Times Square right now where it feels very ominous, almost like 8 o'clock at night. Look at that. Yes, we have a flash flood warning in place and the potential for severe thunderstorms. Uh, 